guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Titan and today we will be talking about my October favorites. I'm super excited about this collection of beauty items for you guys because I love them and I love to share things that I love. Okay, I'm not really a girl that's crazy about body lotions or anything for skincare on your body like I always focus on my face the reason why I'm sharing these in conjunction is because I always wear them together because I feel like together they are a dream team they moisturize your body like no other you guys my legs this part is super snaky so if you have really dry skin you know what I'm talking about ever since I started using these products my skin has been so buttery it's crazy. This is from Soap and Glory. It's the Righteous Butter Body. And it's basically like your typical body lotion, but magic. It has aloe vera, and chia butter, almond oil, glycerin, rose hip seed, vitamin E. And let me tell you, this is the best smelling body lotion ever. This is the Lositong, Lositong? Body and Hair Fabulous Oil. It's 5% shea oil. I do recommend applying those when you're at home because it is oily. Now also on the same bandwagon of moisturizing hydration, I would really recommend the Glossier Balm.com. It made a difference within one use, you guys. It's crazy how well it works. It just dries completely clear. It is that balmy feeling, kind of like Vaseline but thicker. And then you just go to bed and you wake up and you have the softest Angelina Jolie lips ever. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. I'm in the color 128 Warm Nude and this is a super good match for me. It's super matte. They also have the dewy skin version. I really feel like it's medium to full coverage. You can build it up without looking cakey. And I've just been really, really loving drugstore foundations, you guys. Like, where have I been all my life? The drugstore foundations in the States are so awesome. I used their Fit Me Concealer in sand as well. That one's super good as well, but I haven't used it enough for it to be in my favorites. So instead of the Maybelline concealer, I'm gonna talk about my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is no stranger to the beauty community. I'm sure every single one of you have heard of this. This is in the shade Light Medium. And this concealer is definitely one of the best, if not the best, high coverage concealers that I've tried. It is extremely difficult to get, but once you get yourself one bottle of this, it will last you forever. And if you think that you can't find the light medium shade, I would recommend getting the light shade and the medium shade, even though it will be kind of pricey if you do that. If you mix them together, you can get the perfect shade. This concealer has a lot of ingredients that are very moisturizing for the skin, so if you do have creasy under eyes, or dry skin, it will work for you. I have oily skin and it still works completely fine for me. I can't say enough good things about this. This is my new side bay right here. My main bay is Gaius. This is my side bay. Okay, so are you ready for this one, you guys? Ta -da! The Huda Beauty Rose Gold Textured Palette. This shit is da bomb, yo. It's super beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I am very confused legit confused why there are a few bad reviews about this online because it's literally one of the best palettes I've ever tried if not the best it's just crazy how pigmented it is you can just see right here like look how crazy that swatch is I can even go one more time a lot of people are not fans of these textured shadows right here because they are very foil like just think of an aluminum foil and put that into a eyeshadow that is exactly what these shadows are if you put them on your eyelids they definitely look super foil like and shiny but I love how that looks. But you know what? I also love how they have a lot of neutral shadows down here, which you can also do your regular, everyday um, neutral eyes. The reason why some people say these texture shadows are not pigmented is because they go in with a brush. You're supposed to apply it with your fingers and just tap it on wherever you want it to be. And also another tip that I have is when you want to apply these shadows, you have to do it in one direction only and don't go back and forth. Because if you go back and forth, you might actually rub off that foil effect from your eyes. Have you guys ever seen me this excited for an eyeshadow palette before? I don't think so. It's 
awesome. I have another palette to share with you guys. It's the Shade and Light Refillable Contour Palette. This is their new packaging. It's embossed and shiny and perfect. I love it so much. These contour powders are definitely the most pigmented that I've ever worked with. More pigmented than my Too Faced contour powder. These shadows are more cool tone, so they definitely look more natural as a contour, whereas the Chocolate Soleil is more warm. So it's not really realistic to have a very warm shade as your contour. The highlight shade in the middle is kind of that banana tone and it looks super natural under your eyes and then I like to use this peachy tone right here I like to clean up my contour over here and put some peachy highlight under there basically I feel like this is one of those contour palettes that I can use every single one of the shades and that it's not wasted these are my favorites of the month these are the lip glosses by Lorac holiday edition these six come up to only $25, so it's a crazy, crazy bargain. So I've definitely been using these three nude shadows more than I've been using this. I haven't tried these at all. This color is a mauve shade. It's kind of that purpley lilac color that looks beautiful when mixed in Lumiere ColourPop. This is the color that I'm wearing right now, a very nude pink. This is definitely my favorite of the bunch. It's just a medium pink tone with gold sheen to it. Okay, so I only have one more favorite to talk with you guys right now. Now it's black mirror. Put that in your head right now. Black mirror. Gotcha. He thought it's a TV show on Netflix. Black mirror is super effed up, you guys. Basically, every single episode is completely different. They are not related at all. And each episode feels like a blockbuster movie. The whole Black Mirror series is kind of poking fun about how technology and social media is ruling over our life. There is a deeper meaning to every episode. So there's always a twist in the middle. It's crazy. It's insane. I love it. It's so good. You guys have to watch it. It's very sci-fi, high budget. I love it so much watch it you guys yeah congratulations you have made it to the end of the video this is my october favorites my battery is literally flashing red right now so i'm gonna quicken this up thank you so much for watching please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already because we just reached 100,000 subscribers and i'll see you guys in my next video next week and i'm trying to really talk really fast right now that's all okay bye Mwah. i know that you